Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we managed to catch another one. Heisenberger, 899. We played a game sometime last week. I think it was exactly a week ago. Anyways, uh, I got the message that he, his account got closed for fair play. Um, yeah, he was steadily in the seven to eight hundreds and then he just took off. Um, I didn't report him or anything. I didn't think our game was sus. Um, I made one bad move and then he took advantage of it. It was like a really obvious move. But, uh, yeah, Heisenberger, you will be missed. <laughs> so I'm at my new highest uh, ELO today, 936. So, yeah, I got the message from chess.com this morning that I got some ELO refunded. And it bumped me to my uh, ELO high score, which was kind of cool. So let's see if we can get another victory. I really didn't think that game against him was like super obvious uh, as far as cheating goes. I thought he was playing like pretty reasonable moves. His moves weren't insane or anything. Um, yeah, they just seemed fine. It seemed like he was just punishing my bad moves, really. But. Um, okay, so either knight c6 here, or push e6. I want to say, I think, let me see here. I think e6, f6, or knight c6 are all fine moves here. It's a check that doesn't accomplish anything on a5. Um... Think here. For some reason, I just want to go knight c6 and just get this move out of the way. A very early castle. I kind of want to just take the knight and get it over with. Take the knight and get it over with. Where can he go? I guess if he takes the knight, we can just trade off. Mm. E6. I don't want to go knight of six because if he goes e5, I'm going to want to trade and then this pawn on e5 will attack this f6 knight. Well, I kind of really just want to get rid of this already. I think I'll just play e6, play it safe here. <clears throat> That's exactly what I was not hoping for. <laughs> uh... Hmm. I think I have to do the exchange here. See, I don't want to let... Yeah. This is, well, that's funny. Exactly what I thought would happen, happened. <laughs> well, I could always just take the pawn to... Actually, the pawn is free, so... No, the pawn's not really free, because if he checks, I'm forced to bring my knight back. And then he's just going to win on the queen side here, right? Because if I take d4... Well, no, even if he checks, I have b5 protected, so he can't check here. So I guess this is good. Let me think about this. Yeah, because if he checks, that's going to be protected from d4. I think that's just a free pawn. You know, someone just left me a comment, I think, about this exact 
exact situation. No, my internet today, bro. No, no, please, please, please. My internet's been flaky today. I think now we can go trade off. I could always just go protect that too, but that just seems dumb. Hmm. Maybe protecting with the queen. And knight c6. I'm going to be livid if I lose this game to internet issues. <laughs> Uh, I really want to bring the queen out. And then again, I really want to bring the bishop out as well. Hmm. I'm not sure what the play here is. He can push the pawn up to b4. And then I guess I can just drop back down to like b6. Uh, I don't know if this is the move. I don't know if that's the move, man. I'm going to try it. I think queen c... Oh. What's my bishop in a really weird spot? B5? No, I don't want to go B5. That just gives the knight away. F5, maybe? Really awkward. Thinking about changing to my hotspot here. Yeah, this is this is very awkward. Very awkward. I guess I have queen b6 next, and I can try to... S no, I can't scope that pawn. Just kidding. Got two defenders. I take that back. Goes after the pawn. I think I'd rather just offer the trade here, honestly. I'm up a pawn, so... I think I'm just going to try to win with the extra pawn. Mm, I don't know if that's the play, but... I think I'm doing okay. He decides to not go for it. His pawn is pinned, so that's good. Hmm. Just go develop here. What if I castle queen side this game?
I'm not going to be surprised if he plays bishop g5 next. I think it's a better spot for the knight. Let me think here. I have three attackers on this pawn, but I don't think I'm going to come out ahead. So let me think. If I check... Well, maybe that is better. I think this is better to take this pawn, actually. Because if he defends, or if he captures back with the queen or the knight, it's going to be better for me to recapture with the knight here. I think I'm just going to go for this. I might be making a mistake here, but... I think best case scenario, I'm winning a pawn, but then he'll probably get a pawn back after we trade knights off too. So. Hmm. I do have a check here. I need a trade off or check. I think I'd rather... No, let me think about this. If we check here, it's kind of pointless. I think this position is really good. I just need to find like the one winning move here. I think I'm very up in position here. Uh, what do we do? Trade or take? I think we just trade and fall back with the bishop, right? I think we trade and fall back with the bishop. Yeah. And we're up two pawns, which is good. So which way do we want to fall back? I still want to... Oh, man, I did not notice that. Oh, shoot. I did not notice that. That's actually really good. Oh, I totally failed to notice that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, okay. Um, Bit rough, bit rough, but I think we can come back from this. I'm going to be losing two pawns, so we're basically equal at this point. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I getting mated here? Oh no. This is rough. Mm. Damn. That was a really good move. Queen of seven. Totally ignored that. Yeah. Completely ignored that. Yikes. <laughs> uh, what a game. Eesh. What a game, bro. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on this game. <laughs> mm. 
my internet. Bro, please don't lose to the internet. Don't lose. <laughs> I need to switch to my hotspot. Um, let's see. Pretty awkward spot for the king. If I go a5, he can just push this pawn up to b4. Which is going to force my king back, which I don't think is very good. Hmm. I wouldn't like to protect this pawn here. Hmm. I need to figure out what's the best here. I kind of want to move the king like to a central spot. But having the king out in the open like that, I don't know. Seems kind of bad. Hmm. Either C4, A6, I'm not really sure. C4, A6. I don't know why, but for some reason I really want to play a6. It might be a mistake. Hmm. Let's see. Could try to block in with the pawn, but I don't think it's that good. So d4 takes, takes. I'm still going to have the pin on the bishop, which I don't like. I think b3 was not the play. Okay, so I'm going to get checked here, and I'm going to lose this pawn. But I did just get a free pawn, so... A nice one, too. I think I'm going to get mated, though, if I take this b2 pawn. Mm, I think about that. Yeah, because if I take on b2, he'll check. Uh, honestly, I think I can run away. I just need to be careful. Because if I land over here... Well, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to start taking stuff. A horrible spot for the king, though. This game did not go as planned. Oh no, I didn't see that. 
don't think that really does anything, though. If he pushes the pawn up, I just take his pawn. Hmm. The king's in a really bad spot. I should probably try to not lose this pawn here. Ooh, I think I can trade rooks off. I think I can trade rooks off and try to get a passed pawn. Trading pawns off on d4 is interesting. Mm, I don't think there's any way that he can protect this pawn. Let me think about this. So if I go f8, f8 takes, 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 takes. I'm pretty confident that I can win with the bishop because my pawns are going to be uh, advanced way more. So I'm actually just going to offer the trade here strictly because I can win the, ex not necessarily win the exchange, but I can just get the rooks off the board and then I can promote faster. Yeah, if we get the rooks off the board, I'm winning. Yeah, this should be winning. This bishop protecting f8 was super valuable. It was kind of an accident, not like I planned for it or anything, but still very valuable. I, I'm, pr I'm pretty confident of winning this with uh, the rooks off the board. I don't see how he wins this. We have the same uh, bishop, and yeah, there's just there's no way. Yeah, that pawn gets attacked, but um, Yeah, I'll just go get this pawn so he can't advance it. I lose this pawn, but it's not a big deal. Now we're just going to slowly creep our way up the board. It should be winning. <laughs> Just get the pawns on light squares. I want to. Oh, my God, Internet. Bro, I'm going to freak out if I lose this one on internet. Hold on, I have to hide my screen for a second here. Bear with me. No, wrong one.
Bear with me. Oh man, if I lose this one on internet, I'm going to be livid. Please. Reconnect. Please reconnect. Please, bro. Please. Bro, please. I don't want to lose this on internet. Please, bro. Please reconnect. Well, okay. Freak out moment there. I had to switch to my phone's hotspot. Oh my goodness. It's about to have a meltdown. I was about to have a meltdown there. Really? No, he can't even get this pawn. Ooh. Ooh. Almost. No, for the trade here. It's a bit annoying. Uh, yeah, this can kind of end in a draw. Yeah, I won't be able to take this on. That's my main problem right now. Oh, I'm losing this pawn. That's frustrating. Losing this pawn here. Yeah, it's really annoying. I think I should have just defended this. Uh, how do I punish this? I think I have to break through here. There we go. That's the move. Uh, I just have to protect this square, like, at all cost. This should still be winning. I can just move the um, bishop here, and then I'm willing to sack the bishop. You can attack this, but I can still defend the square. I I'm, I'm willing to sack the bishop here, so... I'm going to promote faster. I need to get that pawn off the board. I don't... Yeah. Although... Moving this pawn would be really sneaky. Let me think about this. No, I think I have to sack this because let's think about it. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm getting the queen first here. Mm, can I check? Maybe I just protect h7 here. 
or excuse me, h8. And then run my pawn up the board, perhaps. I'm going to get the queen first, but I don't know if I can win with just the queen. So I kind of want to bring the king back, bring the bishop back, and just protect this square here. But I think I'm just going to go with my original idea. And just go get the queen. Hmm. It'd be crazy if it was a draw. Oh, really? I'm going to get this pawn eventually. I think. If I check here, he can still move back. How do we do this? Still for oh my god, bro! The reconnections today is crazy. Oh my, I'm on hotspot too. Bro, wow. Can I even win here? I don't even. I don't think I can actually win, can I? I just won't ever be able to get this pawn, right? Hmm. I don't think I can win. This is not winnable, is it? Damn. I don't think I can win. That's unfortunate. Uh, I need to learn how to... I need to learn how to... <laughs> I'll lose to this. I need to learn how to not draw here. Dang. Is this really a draw? Hmm. No. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, even if I try to bring my king in, he gets the check and then we just trade queens off, so. Hmm, that's really unfortunate. Uh, Maybe I should just take the draw. Just say GG, I think. <laughs> Oh man. I need to learn how to how to not get stuck here. It's 
It's not possible, right? I'm just gonna go for the draw. I think all things considered, the draw's okay. My biggest problem was losing this g7 pawn here. I think that was the biggest problem. I think I should have just kept defending that pawn. Internet speeds. Go back here. Yeah, I gave White a huge advantage here. I think what I should have done was just... No, could I have even done that? I think I should have just traded this pawn off and just let this C pawn run. But defending this was really important. No. He would have brought his king in. Okay. Then he probably would have. No, he wouldn't have came in that way. Yeah, I guess I could have attacked his bishop here. I think this spot was much better. Probably goes back here. This is so bad, huh? Let me see where I made the big mistake here. Two blunders at the end there. Hmm. Let me see where it fell apart. Yeah, yeah. Losing protection on the H pawn was really bad. I kind of failed to ignore that. But this was really good. I don't think taking the pawn was the play. Moving the king. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, shoot. Damn. Yeah, it was right there. Ah, bummer. Yeah, so it was totally winning. And I had some more winning moves here. What was this? Ah. Yeah, I need to learn how to not lose here. I've never been in this um I've never been in this position, so it was all a bit foreign to me. Let's see the moves here. Oh, force the king into the corner. But then what? Yeah, don't we just get stuck in the same same loop here? Oh, then the king goes up. Then how do we check from here? Queen b8. Can't he just bring the king back in? Queen e5. Yeah, we're still just stuck in the same loop here. I don't think there's a way to win here, is there? Because the king can never make a move to go support the queen, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this on the, uh, the learn list. But yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. The main problem... I made was I think my biggest problem was um this bishop move here so just yeah I thought that I could win if I get the queen first I just kind of failed to recognize that his king and his pawn were going to be dancing around these two squares and I was never going to be able to win that pawn so and the king was never going to be able to move back so yeah it feels bad but uh either way um, that was a really good game. The queen f7 move was really good. Let me see here. 
Yeah, queen f7 was a really good move. I totally ignored that. I think I should have just castled before committing to all this pawn stuff. I think I should have just traded off and castled. I think I would have been fine here. Hmm. Even castling was a mistake, though. Could have avoided this f7 thing, though. Hmm. Either way, that was a good one. GG. And a Thanks for the game, and see you guys in the next one.